I want to show you some basic uh, Excel cleaning tools. Uh, this is from a survey response I ran on a newsletter I run, and I asked people to list what types of writing they liked from the newsletter. Now, as you'll see, the problem with this is that each line of this has multiple answers separated by a comma. The first thing we'll want to do with that is to highlight column A and then go to the data tab and then click text to columns. You'll want to choose delimited and then choose the comma. This will separate the data. You can do anything. If you had other markers separating data, you can use that. Then you can hit finish and it will separate the data. What I'd like to do is click this corner little marker between the A and the one, and then double click the columns. And that will easily separate all the uh, selections. Now, the next thing is a bit of a manual process, basically just cutting and pasting, control X and control V, Pardon the weight while I do that. I'll just cut these. Don't. Anyway, you get the point. Um, so next thing you want to do is just right click all the spaces. So you're left clicking those and then you'll right click and hit delete shift cells up. Um, next thing we'll want to do is make sure they're clean. Uh, so there's actually a tool called trim and whenever you're importing data, it's good to run this equals trim, select this. And then if you hit control shift, you can actually just drag down and do the whole column at once right here. Basically see, if you had if you had a couple spaces here it would eliminate the space so when you're doing a pivot table or a summary table it won't say this is a different value than that because there's extra spaces in it so the next thing you want to do is control shift and then hit down and then control c to copy and then you can do this in many different ways. I right click here and you can actually just do paste values hitting this icon. Another way to do that, a really favorite of Excel people is to do alt and then you don't have to keep holding it. Hit E, then S and then V and then enter. Um, and you can play around with different tools. Um, Using those numbers, it calls up different shortcuts uh, and you can look them up, but they can be really useful if you're using a keyboard and want to be a little quicker in Excel. So delete that. Next thing we'll do is insert a pivot table. And let's put it on the same page. So put it in column C. Uh, it auto selects the data. There's no header, um, so it should be okay. And then basically going to not there, uh, have the rows be the labels and then the values be the labels. Um, we'll close this, shrink this a little, shrink this. Um, we can click this and get rid of the blanks. Um, Click within the data here and data at the top and sort Z to A. That will get them in order. And then I often just take them out of the pivot table again. We can even create a new sheet and label these. Right click, insert, uh, topic, count. 
Uh, again, click this uh, in between the A and the one, and then double click the columns and it will auto fit. We can bold this. Um, Excel's gotten a lot better at the charts. If we wanna just take this and create a chart now, we can do insert recommended charts and it will pretty much give us the ones we want. Not a big fan of these, but um, this is probably the best one right here. I like the Pareto top to bottom. Um, so let's put that in, widen that up a little more um, so we can actually read the labels. Um, title of the chart, topics to write about. Uh, let's make that open sans. Smaller again, make the title a little bigger. Uh, one thing with the charts here, um, I tend to get rid of the axes, makes it look a little cleaner. Uh, another thing you can do is get rid of the Y axis. So just select it, hit delete. Uh, but if you still want the labels, you can add the data labels and they'll go on top. Uh, another thing to do is the, the, there's often all awkward gaps between these bars. Uh, so you can address that by, you can right click and go to the format data series and then click this. And then if you change the gap width, you can actually make it look a little cleaner. If there's one that stands out, so you can... Um, first, if you want to change these to a different color, maybe a lighter green, and then maybe this one stands out, click it twice, not double click, but once, pause, and then another time, and you can make that a little bolder if you want to make that stand out. And that's pretty much how I try to quickly just analyze data.